Hey there, it's Jenny, and I am here today with a brand new planner. You saw the Hemlock, Hemlock and Oak daily planner that I'm using, and it's amazing. I absolutely love it. I immediately ordered the Hemlock and Oak undated weekly planner. So I'm sort of flipping through the beginning sections. You can get a really brief overview. They are amazing. The quality paper is so good. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm in love with it. I'm going to link up Hemlock, Hemlock and Oak below for you. Hopefully you'll get to see it. Here's the weekly layout. I love it. It's so neutral. All right, so it's undated. So we're going to add the week of with this roller date stamp. You've seen me use this quite a bit now with my dailies. I use it in my scrapbooking all the time because I love it. And my VersaFine ink is going to be my pal this week. All right. So there's going to be tons of stamping. I'm going to do all of the functional things and I'm going to use tons of stamps. That includes these from the ton. She's got a lot of great two by six stamp sets that have so many functional things and I cannot wait to use them. I'll link up the ton stamps below just so you can go and take a look at her planner stamps because they're fantastic. They are such a good size for this planner too. So I'm going to start by stamping email at the top. So this is going to be like an overview for the week. I will include all of my due dates, all of my work things, and then all of my appointments. Now, why? How do these things mix? Because I work from home, all of these things mix because where I need to go and what I need to do has to do with my working. Does that make sense? All right, so we're adding little icons as well. They are so cute and included in these stamp sets. So after we stamped email, now we're gonna stamp video. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That's what I'm planning on my video schedule being for now, no Sunday videos. We'll see if that changes in the future. I'm sure this entire schedule will change. So now in this cotton candy ink from the stamp market, I am adding these little video icons right there so that we can notate the video I'm going to publish for each day. This just helps me plan out what I need to film and all of those types of things. Now, one of the things that's a challenge this week is figuring out the spacing, getting all of this stuff correct. Now, I'm stamping schedule. So, in a perfect world, I would have maybe stamped the schedule words one or two blocks lower, just to add a little bit more white space. That'll be something I do next week. Now, after schedule, I'm going to stamp post. This will be for my Instagram posts. Now, again, this ties in with the videos because it helps me know what I need to produce and when I need to produce it for. So it's not because I'm trying to do anything outrageous or very interesting. It's just that I want to know when I need to get things done by. So now I'm going to use a little Instagram stamp and use the cotton candy ink and stamp that right below. These are sort of like bullet points, right? Again, I would have put this probably two or three boxes lower if I realized after I had added my writing. So once I get the writing in there, I realize right away that, okay, yeah, I need to have a little bit more room. But this is the very first week, and overall, I'm thrilled with the setup. So having that base is perfect. All right, so now I want to add these Ellie Studio date stamps. So I'm using the same cotton candy pink. I'm going to use the same colors each week as I use in my dailies. That's what, That way my brain is looking for the same thing. I know it's all the same week because I'm keeping it very simple in these Hemlock and Oak planners and so functional. I'm really excited about this because then all of my decorative projects will just play off of these beautifully. So I'm stamping the dates across the top and I'm having to clean the stamp block off for each day and it's wonderful. I'm able to then just pick up the next one and keep going. 
Now this is the last full week in April and I'm thrilled to have learned so much already by creating. I just feel like I'm I'm really ahead of the game, if you will. Like I love the overall setup, just increasing a little bit of the room for each thing will definitely help so much. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add the activities. I'll still use my clean color dot markers for these. They definitely allow me to have these things stand out. So again, this schedule is going to include all the things that I need to do, the places I go, the calls, those types of things. But that is to help manage the work that I need to get done around these appointments. So it's not so much keeping track of them, but keeping track of my time for work. That's why this is sort of my work planner and those things are helping me. I'm using a Sharpie felt tip pen. You've seen me use this one for quite some time now. It really works quite well for me in my handwriting and also creating that bold line that I like. Now I was missing a little bit of differentiation after I started writing and that's what we talked about about how I need a little bit more room if you will because I'm having a hard time with that. So I just added the little highlighted lines right next to it just to make it stand out ever so slightly. I also think when I use a slightly darker ink color that that will help as well. Now I did recognize that I needed one more stamped category and I needed one that said due. So when projects are due, this stamp says due by. So all I did was add ink to the due instead of the due by. And doesn't that sound funny? Like the country, like D-U-B-A-I. That's what I feel like I'm saying. And then simply just stamped due on the days that I have things due. So that's a great hack for if you have a stamp that doesn't say exactly what you need to say, maybe it has an extra word, just ink up the word. But if you're very confident, go ahead and snip those apart. I really honestly may do that here. I very well may snip a line in between do and buy because I just am not 100% sure that I need that word. All right, so now I can add those projects that I have due down under that category. And this is working so well. I love it. I'm able to keep track of all of the things. I already have an idea for next week that I can't wait to try just to see how I like it. I probably will keep the overall very neutral theme, but for next week I might spice it up just a tiny bit. Now there's one more section that I want to add and that is next week. Things that I need to be cognizant of that are coming up, especially for things that are like Monday and Tuesday, right? That like I need to have already started thinking about or gotten a jump on. So I'm just going to use this little next week stamp. It is so old for my stash, years and years old. You can't get it anymore. The company is not even still in business, but that's it. So that is it for me this week and my super functional planner. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the box below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks so much and make it a great day.